Welcome back to the Tropical Update. It's Thursday, September 14th. I'm Tom. I'll be guiding you through graphics. We're going to be talking about Hurricane Jose and where it's going. We're also going to be talking about two new uh, tropical waves that have moved off Africa and what direction they're going to be going in the next few days. First up, let's pull up our two-day graphical and you can see Jose you can also see the two yellow X's one and two they're giving them about a 10% chance in the next two days of developing into anything uh, but they will need to be watched because they're in a very good area for formation for this time of the year and our next graphic is actually going to show uh, tracks and where the most likely areas for formation are and that is um, the orange areas the green and the blue and uh, usually what track they take and that track this time of year September is normally either toward the mainland or they curve out to sea now here's the five day and you can see there that both those tropical waves that have moved off Africa are showing pretty much a westward due west track and that will have to be uh, looked at we don't have any tracking uh, models on them yet but I believe we will start getting those probably tomorrow here is our cone for Jose you can see they're looking for a northwest movement and uh, somewhere out around Friday they're looking for it to turn north and then if you look at the top of the uh, cone it gets very wide uh, there's a possibility there could be what's called a blocking high above Bermuda that uh, could interact and also a trough they're talking about and here if you look at the models uh, you can see that even though they're not really showing it very close to shore they are showing that loop up at the top one of the tracks and uh, that could be because of this blocking high could build in and cause uh, some trouble and next up this shows intensities what they're thinking and they're not showing it really developing into anything more than a category one uh, in fact the latest I just seen is they believe that it may actually become a little bit weaker in the next few days because of the area that it's in wind shear and just the water temperatures here's a picture of it and uh, yes it looks pretty good convection wise and it's in just a very bad area for wind shear and the water temperatures are not that great so it's not going to intensify it's probably actually going to go down in intensity for the next couple days this I wanted to show you um, if you look there is that high out there in the Atlantic that could move and become that blocking high also uh, we're still de dealing with uh, the remnants of Irma. That's that low that you see up there near uh, Delaware and um, oh, just north of D.C. area. And that should be moving out. Well, that's about all we have for tonight. Uh, appreciate everybody checking in. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And we are going to be especially watching Jose and the two waves that have come off of Africa. Uh, they could cause some trouble here in the next few days once we get the computer models. Till then, have a great day.